Hello Finders crew, welcome back to my channel. My name is Logan and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys six awesome Amazon finds that we have around our home that make our home cooler, honestly. They're really awesome products. So with that being said, let's dive right into them. So the first product we got here is a towel warmer. Now I, I know that sounds a little bit silly if you've never tried one before, but I'm gonna show you what it is, how it works and, and why we love to use it every single day. So this is the towel warmer right here. Basically you open it up and on the inside you can actually put a little uh, scent inside of here as well. Give you a little bit of aromatherapy. You can change it out depending on different scents that you want. And then inside the main thing right here, you basically can put either up to two different towels or one blanket inside of here. And then you just close this up, you throw the lid right on it, and all you have to do is push this power button right here and it's gonna start right away. So you just click on that, it starts heating, and in about a minute, this hot surface light is gonna go on here and tell you that it's starting to warm up. And I found that the sweet spot with this is about eight to 12 minutes. Once you hit that mark, your towel's gonna come out of this nice and warm. So when you get out of that shower right there, you can grab a nice and warm towel and not be freezing cold when you get out. It's such a treat. And honestly, every time I forget to use it at this point, uh, I'm a little bit sad getting out of the shower without a warm towel. Next up, we have this projector right here. Now we've tried out projectors of all different price points. And honestly, this is the best one we found. It has so many awesome features. We watch TV on it every single night in our bedroom, just on the wall. I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. So on the back here, we've got all the ports. So the power cord right here. And then we plug in a Chromecast here so that we can Chromecast anything to our projector that we want. And then just the power button on the back. And then it comes with this remote too that allows you to basically control the projector and everything with it. So you got the power button and this is like Google Voice because the projector is an Android uh, system projector. And then settings, of course, you can uh, scroll through the options on the projector here, go home, back, and change the volume as well. So I'm just turning the projector on and here's what it looks like on our wall. I'm gonna turn the lights off also so you can get the real picture of it on our wall in here. And this is during the daytime too. This is basically the view from our bed right here, exactly what we see on the wall. And this is during the daytime. So even the light from our windows and everything, all the light coming in is not affecting it too much. It's super, super clear on there. You can go ahead and scroll through and choose basically anything you want to watch. They've got, you know, Ted on here, YouTube, Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV. You can do all that. You can even download more inside of the app section on the actual projector here. And you can download games on it too if you do want to play that. So all sorts of apps, like I said, it runs Android Studio. It's got extremely clear picture and a speaker built into the projector that's nice and loud also. Also with the projector, when you turn it on, when you move it, all those sorts of things, it actually automatically refocuses based on the distance and whatever it's projecting onto. So if I just take this and I put it down onto here at a different distance, you'll see on the screen over there that it's actually readjusting right now to have picture perfect image every single time. And this is how big it is relative to me. So you can see it takes up so many feet on our wall vertically and horizontally. Vertically and horizontally. And that's with us only being probably about eight feet away from where the projector actually is in distance here. The next product here is gonna be this bean bag that unfolds into a bed, but I'll show you that in just a second. First off, look how large this bean bag is. I mean, it's so comfortable. I can easily fit another person on here with me. That's how big the actual bean bag is. But let's go ahead and actually unfold it into a bed too, which is kind of the other option with it. So there's zippers just on the back here and basically you just undo the zippers and it's gonna pull right out of this kind of casing that it's in. So I'll go ahead and unzip it just like this. And you can kind of start to see that there's actually a bed inside of this, which is what makes it so fluffy in general. I'm gonna pull out the bed now here and let's get it all set up. I'll say that just because of the sheer size of it, it's almost a little tricky with one person and definitely with two people, it's a little bit easier, but it's definitely doable with one person. So I'm gonna get there soon. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got it fully out of the cover here. This is the bed. Let's get it all set up as an actual bed now. So here we go. I'm gonna pull it out and fluff it out a little bit. Let's kind of redistribute the bedding part of it inside of here too. Shake it up a little. And right now it's looking nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna lay on this because it'll probably help smooth it out a little. 
there you go. Now we have a queen sized bed. I'll lay fully flat on this just so you can see. And there you go with me fully spread out. The bed fits perfectly. It's really nice and comfortable too. And then when you're not using it as a bed, you'll basically just shove it right back into that cover that it has and it'll be a bean bag for your living room. Next up is gonna be this litter box right here. It's an automatic litter box and it has honestly changed the game for us and our cat. We pretty much don't have to do anything besides change it out once a week. So basically what happens is inside of here, she goes to the bathroom, the litter box will actually sense it and you'll see this red light go on because it basically means that either, you know, my hand's in it or she's in the litter box and it doesn't want to turn while she's actually in it. And then after about 15 minutes, this timer is going to go up. It's going to reset back to a blue color on the top right here. And then all of the litter that's actually clumped up is not going to be filtered out through these little kind of grains into here. So all the clean litter stays into there, all the clumped litter keeps funneling through and it cycles through all the way into the bottom right here. So you'll see in just a second, there won't be any clumping litter right now because it has already went from when she went to the bathroom last. But you can imagine that all the clean litter is straining into there right now as you're seeing and all the clumping litter obviously would not be able to be strained into there and it would instead fall down into the hole right here, which is where all of everything goes and the only place that we actually have to clean out. And then it's just gonna spin back and put that clean litter back into here. And then on the bottom is where it's all gonna fall to. So all we have to do about once every two weeks or so is open this up and it's got a nice trash bag into there and take this trash out and put another liner into there and we're good to go for next time. The litter box also connects to an app. So it tells us every single time she goes to the bathroom, it tells us her weight and a bunch more information inside of there so that we know she's using it, that it's consistent, that it's working and everything like that. Next up, we have these puck lights right here. These are basically used for lighting up kind of darker areas in your home and they work really, really well. They work together also. So basically, if you buy a bunch of these, they come in one, three, or six packs of them, they essentially pair together. So when you turn one of them on, you can turn on all of them if you want to. So I'm gonna show you with just one of them how you kind of turn them on and use them, and then you'll see with multiple also. So for number one, they are motion censored. So all you have to do is wave your hand over the front of it, and it's gonna turn on and turn off as well. And if you want to adjust the brightness while it's on, all you do is hold your hand there for just a second, and that brightness is actually gonna adjust on it too. And then as I was saying, they pair together. So on the back of them right there, you can kind of see a number one and a number two. That basically what that means is the two different groups of them and also the off if you don't wanna use them in general. But if you wanna put them together, all you have to do is take two of them and put them both on that same number right there. So I've got both of these on the number two right there. So now with both of them on the number twos, if I turn one of them off, both of them are gonna turn off just like that. And same thing with turning them on, with turning the brightness and everything else. If one is on number one and one's on number two, then turning one of them off will leave the other one on. So you can have two different control groups around your home and control them in groups like that. They're also magnetic. So basically what you can do is put these little magnet rings on wherever you want these to be. And then on the back of the puck light, it's just gonna magnetize right to it just like that. And lastly, they're also controlled by this little remote right here if you don't wanna use the motion sensor. So you can control both the number one and the number two with this remote. I've got three of these kind of in the corner right here and you're gonna watch the difference with them off and on and see how much better the lighting actually is. So I'm gonna turn off the other lights just for now so you can see the difference. So this is what we're normally looking like light-wise in kind of the corner of our kitchen over here. And then if I just turn all three of these on with just one tap of the button, you can see that it really lights up that area nicely and I'll turn the the brightness all the way up too. So there you go, that's full brightness and it really lights up the corner and then with it off again, just for comparison. And they're super nice, you can place them anywhere in your home. They're also fully rechargeable. They last anywhere from about 20 to 100 hours, depending on the brightness that you actually have them set at, but you can just recharge them anytime you want to. The last product we have is this cotton candy machine. This one is awesome because you can basically take any sort of candy, throw it in there, there are some that don't work, so you'll have to look that up a little bit, but a lot of the candies work and you throw it in there and you just get cotton candy within minutes. I mean, how sweet is that, guys? So let's assemble this one. It's just a few parts, so you got the little base here. Unfortunately, these wheels don't spin like I would want them to. They're just for the look of it, but hey, they look pretty cool. So you just take this and you throw it right on the top 
and push it down. And then you take the bowl and you put it the other way right on top of it. It's got these little kind of pegs here that clip into the top of the white bowl here, just like this. So push them all in, stays in there nicely. And then all we have to do is turn this on and preheat it. And then we'll come back after it's preheated for about five minutes. And we're gonna throw in three of these Jolly Ranchers and you'll see how quick it actually makes cotton candy out of them. All right, it's been preheating for probably about five to 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna turn this off so we can throw the candy in without it going everywhere. Just hit the power button on the back there. And then I'm gonna throw in three different Jolly Ranchers, one red, one blue, one green, just for fun. We'll probably get a little rainbow colored action going on. Okay, it just stopped spinning. Let's toss these guys into there. You can actually hear it start to sizzle immediately, which is definitely a good sign. And with all three in there, I'm gonna turn it back on and we'll start getting cotton candy. I'm gonna use this uh, little blue cotton candy, little gadget thing that it came with to actually kind of spin it around and get it onto here. So let's turn it on. And you can see it happened pretty quick. It's a little bit loud, but almost immediately we start getting cotton candy off of this and you just kind of spin it around and around. And it definitely gets quieter as it goes on. I'm gonna keep spitting this as long as it'll give me cotton candy. Let's see how much we get out of the three Jolly Ranchers. Of course, a lot of that sugar you can kind of see is getting stuck on the outside too as it goes around, but that's definitely just part of it. There's definitely a little bit coming off, but I'd say this is most of what we got out of three Jolly Ranchers. I'm definitely not the best cotton candy uh, roller onto this thing, but I'd say there's a good amount and it's nice and fluffy. You can just see and hear it. Looks just like cotton candy you would get at a carnival for your kids, so awesome. And it tastes delicious too. It pretty much tastes exactly like what you'd expect it to taste out of those three Jolly Rancher flavors. You just get a huge burst of three different flavored Jolly Ranchers essentially into cotton candy form. So delicious, awesome, and super easy to use. Thanks so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed at least one of the products, if not all six. All of the links are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video.